Charges will not be pursued against a North Georgia man who shot and killed a confused 72-year-old Alzheimer's patient. Good evening and thanks for joining us. For News Channel 9 at 11, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. One day before Thanksgiving, Ronald Westbrook wandered away from his home in Chickamauga. Several hours later, he was shot and killed by Joe Hendricks. News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell joins us now to discuss why Hendricks is not facing criminal charges. Kelsey. Well, Josh, Kim, this is a sad story all the way around. Ronald Westbrook left his home and walked almost three miles, taking letters from mailboxes and eventually ended up in the front yard of the home belonging to Joe Hendricks's fiance. Here's a first listen to the frantic 911 call that ended in Westbrook's tragic death. He's what is ringing that, the doorbell two or three, three or four times. He's ringing the doorbell right now. Okay. Terry Husky and her fiance, Joe Hendricks, were woken up by someone trying to get into their home. On their doorstep was 72 year old Ronald Westbrook, who had unknowingly wandered almost three miles from his home. Husky made the call to 911 just after 4 a.m. and was told to stay inside the house. A few minutes later, Hendricks took the phone and started speaking to dispatch. Ma'am? Yeah. I've shot this guy. You shot the guy? I shot the guy. What did you shoot him with? I shot him with my firearm. He, he came advancing towards me. Hendricks shot Westbrook four times using a 40 caliber handgun. When asked if Westbrook was breathing, Hendricks said no. Why did you go outside? Why didn't you stay in the residence? Because he, I saw him in the window go around the, go around the house. So yes, but I you should stay inside the residence. Hendricks states several times that Westbrook didn't respond to his commands to stop and identify himself. I kept talking. I kept talking. I, he just kept advancing. He wouldn't. He wouldn't say anything to me. What Hendricks did not know is Westbrook suffered from Alzheimer's and often had trouble communicating. Exactly three months after the shooting, Walker County District Attorney Buzz Franklin announces they will not pursue charges against Joe Hendricks. Well, each case is unique in this situation. I think it's the facts that were revealed after everything was done that just make it more tragic than it was already. Franklin says the family understands his decision. Remarkably understand they're a very strong family, very good group of people. And in fact, after sitting there and talking to them about Mr. Westbrook, I wish I'd known him in his lifetime. He sounded like a, a great guy. Westbrook was a 33-year veteran of the Air Force. He survived by his wife of 51 years, three children, and many more family members.